what's up so squad what's up so squad it, it, it's monday how you guys doing guys this is what my monday morning thoughts or oh, my monday thought this is my thoughts period oh i know i've been missing in action but i'm coming back this week uh guys i'm coming back this week i've been missing in action i don't know whether or not it's age or i'm just dealing with a whole lot but i am pushing through something what it is i don't know but i'm pushing through something but i know why i'm pushing through it you know i still got faith you know i'm still on a uh, on a journey about you know my move and and and, and my final thoughts of laying down my plan and with me doing that and putting my foot down, guys, um, God has lit a fire, okay, under my boys, my young men. He has lit a fire that I have never seen before. I don't know if because he pushed me and made me really focus on and have faith that it's time to focus on myself. Because I have always said that I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But... I always end up backtracking and then go and then start putting other people in front of me and then still holding on to my kid, to my family, to my sons. And they never really get to go anywhere or move forward or, or, or get the courage up or the faith of it to go out there on their own. But ever since I've been following the footprints that God had put before me, had ever since I've been like, you know, talking to him more and trying to understand the way and understand my way and my life and the things that he want for me and the things that he's lined up for me. I have been able to like throw cautious to the wind and and tell and and give my kids ultimatums. You know, get them deadlines and 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 let them know this is happening and. They take me to strive and they roll it with it. And I think because they never actually seen that I was actually ready to do anything. You know, it's always been like, oh, she ain't going to do this or she ain't going to do that. But I just got so much faith in the man upstairs. And, and, and I just know that I'm not scared to make these journeys that I'm trying to make or make the move that I'm trying to make. And I think my sons finally see it. So this time when I said I was about to do this, I'm about to do that, they looked and they was like, oh, she's serious. Oh, she's serious. And I've never been as serious as I've been before. There's nothing that's blocking me or hindering me from not doing this next step in my life. I'm 52 years young. I still have a whole lot of time, a whole lot, a whole lot of things that I want to do and I'm able to do and get it done. Um, so yeah, I just been, but lately I know I've been in a down, I've been in a little spiral. We all get that. We human. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't know that my kid's father death was going to affect me as much as it had. It, it really, really has affected me on such an emotional level, guys, that I've been like distance. I've been withdrawn. I've been, you see me in my videos, the food videos I'm looking, I got to play that part because I don't want to bring sadness into the video, but the vlogs I haven't been up to because I need to be who I am in the vlogs. And if I'm not who I am, if I'm not, you know, I don't want to bring a whole bunch of sadness onto my vlogs because I want to, I want to worship life and I want to have fun and all that stuff. And this is like, I'm angry. I'd be so mad. What are you looking at me for? Why are you whispering? I'm talking soft. Talk louder. I need to talk louder? You sound weird. I sound weird? Oh, okay. No, why are you whispering, though? I'm not whispering. I'm just talking because I know Joshua is in class. Yeah. And I don't want to be too loud. I don't know if he can hear. You know, he's in a video chat class. But, yeah. I, um, How can you be upset of a person that's gone? 
I'm so mad at him. And it's different from my mom and my aunt and my cousin. Oh my God, I love my mom so much. I love her so much. And I miss her every day. But it's like we knew, you know? We had a head start of just like knowing. And I'm not saying I was prepared, but I knew. And, and and it feels good that she's not in pain no more, that she's in a better place. And I understood. And that goes for my aunt, too. But this one hit me so different. Y'all, I got a whole... It just... It's like I don't have an understanding. And, and I kind of blame him. You know, because I believe it didn't have to be the way it was. And it, all he had to do was make certain changes in his life. And he could have still been here for Jack. Jack 17. You know, his grandchildren. Because all the things that he didn't do for his children... They, they they forgave him. We done had a whole list of stuff and ups and downs. Uh, our relationships and a lot of apologies and forgiveness and things like that. All that and all that been reconciled. But you know, now you was like trying to get to know your grandkids and and get you get it like your grandchildren is somehow a do over. You know, it's like a second chance because when you building a bonding with them. What you don't know is that you're building a bonding with your kids as well because they're looking at you in a different light. They're looking at you, okay, you didn't give this to me, but you're giving it to my child, and I'm grateful for that, you know? And I'm not going to say that he was really there for the grandchildren either, but he was he was doing his best, and and, and, and the children saw that. And so I'm just so angry. And, and I'm not angry at God. I, I'm mad. I sit and I ask, you know, why? Why you just couldn't get it together? Why you just couldn't do this? Or why you just couldn't do that? I'm so mad at you. And I don't want to be mad. And, and then that emotion is just like, it's messing me up. It's like, it's, it's making me feel down. But... I don't know. It's just like this thing, it just hit me so different. And it's not that I love one person more than I love another person. It's just, it's just hit different. And I'm just like, whew, get it together, girl. Get it together, get it together, get it together. So I had this long pausing conversation with God. And I don't know. A lot of people don't know is that, you know, everything that you've been through, how can you feel this way about this person who did this to you, who did that to you? You have a, a you had a, 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 a terrible relationship. But within that relationship, what I had with him throughout those 20 something years, there were good times, there were bad times. Yes, I would say there were more bad times because I got my book is coming out. And I was actually writing this book way before he had passed. I started writing this book like in 2019. And I just been moving slow with it, doing other things and and I had just started back up on this book in 2021. And then, boom, this happened. And I'm like, wow. But, um, whew. So, I just need a break. I just needed time. But I do know that this is my income. This is my way of living. So, that's why I focus on putting food, food videos up. But not really focus on putting blog videos up, if you can understand. Because I don't think in the vlogs I'll be able to give my all. But I'm adjusting. I'm coming around. And I know what I got to do. I'm not going to stop myself from doing the things I need to do for myself. But along the way, I just be down. My seat pattern. You know, the same stuff y'all heard before. Uh, you know, but my seat pattern is getting better. Because at first, honey, getting up 3 o'clock in the morning, going to bed at 10 o'clock in the morning, and then to storm me off and everything. So I'm, whew, I just got a woosah. But I'm going to tell you who's giving me the strength. 
God. I'm telling you, no matter what you go through and how you feel in, if you just lay it all out to him, if you talk to him, you pray to him, if you just lay it all out to him, he's going to put a light. He's going to lift you up. He's going to put a light under you. He's going to put a fire under you. He's going to help you get through whatever it is that you're getting through. See, he's giving you the strength. You know, he's making you strong. He's making you stronger than you ever thought you could be. And, and and that's what I'm starting to feel. So I'm trying to bring it all together. So the vlogs will be coming back. You know, it's just that I just, I just, I just couldn't do it. I had no excitement in me, you know, like, and then with the whole pandemic and the cases are getting higher out in these streets, I just feel like I don't want to risk myself going outside, going to the stores and being around a lot of people and, it's just so much plays such a part with that playing a part and that playing a part. How can a person not not feel the way I was feeling? Then I was like, um, with my, you know, I'm aging and as an older woman, your hormones switch up on you and you know, you're going in a different direction emotionally, and you're going through what menopause and you know, and just all that just play a factor. It's like everything is trying to hit all at once. And it's like, I, don't, I didn't know what direction or what direction to go into. But it's I'm coming back. See, I did a wig and makeup and everything today. Haven't been doing this. I've been, I've been slumming. <laughs> you know, if you look at my food videos, I've been slumming. <laughs> I ain't been showing my face because I, I've been slumming. I'm just like, no, no, I don't feel like it today, but... I think this is a start because I felt like it today. I think it's a start. And I just wanted to say that he got you. No matter what you go through in life, no matter how hard you get hit, God got you. Just give faith to him. Have faith in him. Have faith in yourself. And take your time. Can't nobody tell you when. How nobody can can nobody tell you how to grieve, when to grieve, how long to grieve for. There is no time frame on grief on, on grieving. You know, it, it, I don't think it's ever, ever, ever over. And really, I think it, it all just starting to hit me because, like, I haven't had time to breathe um, since things were happening back to back to back. And I just been pushing myself, just pushing on, then pushing on, and then till I got to my breaking point. And I and I believe I reached my breaking point. So now, with well, my conversations and talking to God, I'm trying to build myself back up. Yeah, I'm going to get there, but it's moving slow. I just want to say thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for um, the emails. I talked to you guys on this course, the texts to the ones who had my number and everything. And, um, whew. I just got hit hard and I'm, um, but everything is coming together. I'm coming together. <laughs> everything is coming together and you guys will get some vlogs this week. It's coming together. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not going to say I'm at a hundred. I'm not at a hundred, but I'm, I'm good enough to know. Okay. Get up out this slump. Do something with yourself. I'm not at 100. I don't even think I'm at 60. But I know I'm there. It's just going to take me a little while longer. But while I am there, I'm good enough to say, let's do a vlog. I want to do a video. Um, even my manager on my vlog channel was like, are you okay? What's going on? And I'm, I'm like, I'm just not ready to do a video yet. And I know everything is, you know, the analytics of this, the analytics of that. Everything is going down. This is going down. But, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes I can't even think about that. I'm focused on my mental health. If this 2022 is going to be about me and the changes I make in my life and me focusing on me, I, no matter what, everything that's going on, 
And mental health is so important to me because it run, my mental illness runs in my family. And so mental health is so important to me. You know, I know about that hands on because I deal with that every day with family or family member. And um, I don't try to ignore it. So I try to, to, to take care of it, you know, to do the things that I need to do so that I could be straight. And like I said, I'm getting there, not at a hundred, but I'm getting there. But I'm at the point where that I'm starting to understand this whole situation. And God is putting it in my heart to give me the strength to move on. And I pray to him, I talk to him, and I feel, I feel the direction that he want me to go in. If that makes sense, it's like I could feel, I get the inspiration that he gives me and say, hey, I know you're going through this, but I need you to do this. I need you to walk this way. I need you to get it together. And that's what I'm trying to do. So she's coming back, y'all. I think first step is because I did the hair. And you know, with a woman doing your hair, doing your makeup, it makes you feel a whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? Somebody sent me a text message. It makes you feel a whole lot better. So that's the start. The first stop is bathing, taking a bath, doing your makeup, putting a wig on, and giving myself some self-care. Giving myself some self-care so that I'm just not just feeling down emotionally, but, um, you know... Making making myself feel good the way I'm looking and things and stuff like that. I don't know, y'all. But it's coming. It's coming. So I know I didn't say like thank God for us for a day. Thank God for me up spending up there with my friends and family. Cause through through everything, he's been waking me up through everything. He been get me up out this bed through all through the middles of the nights and when I lay down, go back to see, get back up. He been opening my eyes up each and every time. Cause y'all been having some crazy dreams and wake up calls and it's like, who? It's a whole lot. And I know I'm not the only person going through something right now. With with the world, everybody is going through all types of losses and feeling down. The only thing I can say is that find your faith, find your strength in God, and take it one day at a time. Don't rush your bereavement. Don't let nobody tell you that. Yo, you should be over it by now. Don't let nobody do that. They can't do that. They can't tell you that. Only you can help yourself. Take it one day at a time. And it may get better. Today may be better than tomorrow. But the day was better than yesterday. You just don't know when you wake up which way, which direction it's going to go. You don't. I wake up every morning hoping that I'm feeling better. But sometimes it's just like, nope. I'm still, I'm still don't, because I still don't understand. But now, I woke up this morning, it was better than yesterday. And the way I'm feeling today, I think tomorrow, I I, I pretty much expect tomorrow is going to be a better day for me too. I'm, I'm getting it together. It's just taking time. And like I said, just be strong. Anything that you're going through, just believe in yourself. Take care of your mental health. Um, don't let nobody stress you out. Don't let nobody rush you. Um, stay focused with God and have faith. And he's going to give you all the strength that you need to make it through anything. I'm telling you guys, he really is. But, mm, excuse me. With that being said, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for being patient. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for listening to my morning thoughts on how I'm feeling and I'm getting by. And just check out all of my YouTube platforms because, honey, at the end of the day, I still got to promote everything that I'm doing. <laughs> so check out all my YouTube platforms with Soulful T, uh, Soulful T Sounds. Check out my son's um. Michael, my oldest son, he is finally getting into YouTube game. He has found his, it took him a minute to go from this page to that page to decide what he want to do. But he has found his rhythm. And he's doing good on uh, Amateur Cooking Guy. 
Go check out my son, oldest son, Mike. He's over there cooking some things. I think he got a video coming up later on tonight. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on everybody's video. And check out my sister, New Life Journey. She's over there doing her thing, too. All right, guys. With that being said, I see you in the next vlog. I see you in my next vlog. I see you in my next vlog. All right, so squad. I love you guys.